What exactly is a hormone? This video will cover some of the most important ones and how they keep you healthy. Estrogen, the female sex hormone sets off puberty, regulates your menstrual cycle, maintains pregnancy, and keeps bones strong for women and men too. Watch out world! Testosterone, the male sex hormone contributes to your sex drive, bone density, and muscle strength in both men and women. It's what makes women swoon over George Clooney. Growth hormone. As its name implies, it promotes human growth and plays a crucial role in increasing muscle mass and bone development, protecting our tissues from breaking down to avoid injury. If we didn't have this, we'd all still be baby-sized. Oxytocin. Dubbed the love hormone, oxytocin levels rise when we make physical contact with another human. It's also released during childbirth and helps with milk letdown during lactation. Follicle-stimulating hormone. In women, FSH helps control the estradiol hormone synthesis, menstrual cycling, and the production of eggs by the ovaries. In men, it helps control the production of sperm. Isn't that stimulating? Progesterone. After ovulation, progesterone rises to prepare your uterus for the implantation of the embryo. If pregnancy doesn't occur, the levels drop again, causing you to get your period and PMS, sadly. Human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, is the hormone that a pregnancy test can detect about two weeks after conception, unless you start craving pickles and ice cream first. Prolactin. The pituitary gland releases prolactin after childbirth to trigger lactation, which enables moms to breastfeed. Gives new meaning to the term, got milk? Luteinizing hormone. LH controls the production of estrogen or testosterone from the ovaries or testes and is often measured during an infertility workup to evaluate ovulation in women or testicular function in men. Melatonin. Insomniacs may feel too familiar with this sleep hormone, which regulates our sleep and wake cycles. Peptide YY. PYY is produced in the small intestine and released into your bloodstream after you eat to decrease appetite and make you feel full. Glucagon like peptide 1. GLP-1 is the appetite-regulating hormone produced in the gut after eating. Leptin. This hormone controls appetite by signaling your brain to stop eating. It also helps your brain regulate how much energy your body burns throughout the day, like having a personal trainer in your brain. Thyroid hormones, known as T3 and T4. These hormones dictate your weight, determine your energy levels, internal temperature, skin, hair, nail growth, and more. Insulin. After you eat, Cells in your pancreas release insulin that shuttles glucose from your bloodstream into your body's tissues to use for energy later. Kind of like little energy minions. Glucagon. Produced by cells in your pancreas and works to keep your blood sugar levels stable. This hormone breaks down stored glucose so your body can use it for energy. Serotonin. Boosts and stabilizes mood. Dark chocolate converts a compound called L-tryptophan to serotonin, which kind of explains why chocolate makes us happy. Cortisol. Released during times of stress, increasing heart rate, blood pressure, blood glucose, respiration, and muscle tension in response. It also temporarily shuts down the body's systems that aren't needed when you're being chased by a bear, such as digestion and reproduction. Adrenaline. The flight or fight hormone allows you to battle a danger head-on or escape to safety, away from that bear. DHEA. This hormone from the adrenal gland and ovaries initiates production of male and female sex hormones. Parathyroid hormone. PTH is vital to our bone health and essential for normal calcium and phosphorus balance in the body. Grolin. Stimulates appetite and prepares the body for food. Like an inner grandma going, you should eat. Aldosterone. Regulates blood pressure by increasing salt and water reabsorption in the kidney. 
Visit Hormone.org to download the essential guide to your hormones to find out more about keeping your hormones in balance.